today. Although the title and thumbnail shows that we're going to the Golden Temple today, that's not the only place we'll be visiting, but also a historic garden, which is a tribute to the horrific massacre in 1919. More information as we progress in this video. So be ready, cause this is gonna get intense. Put Mr. Magista and Majasthrikal to all of you. Today, we're heading to a city in the northwestern Indian state of Punjab and only 28 kilometers from the border with Pakistan. The city is Amritsar. However, right now we're in Delhi and we need to catch the early morning train, in particular the Shatabdi train, which will take us directly to Amritsar. So do get comfortable because it's a good 7 hour train ride to Amritsar from New Delhi Railway Station. Nothing too fancy about the train itself, but the ride was quite scenic. So, once we reached Amritsar, we went directly to our hotel and decided not to waste any time whatsoever. And so we immediately left to visit the Golden Temple, also known as the Harmandir Sahib. We took a taxi from our hotel to an area known as Hall Bazaar. In particular, to a roundabout point known as the Town Hall Road. And this is the roundabout point. Interesting fact, cars are not allowed beyond this point. Hence, from there we walked to the Golden Temple and let me tell you, the area you go through, as I mentioned, known as the Hall Bazaar, to get to the Golden Temple, comprises many markets, and hence is such an enjoyable walk. A rather fun walk, eh? Whilst we were walking, we came across Coventers. What's Coventers? Coventers is India's first original milkshake brand. So yeah, we saw Coventers and their ice cream that they were serving looked absolutely delicious. So of course, I had to try it. Tell me that doesn't look tempting. It was deadly. All right, so now that we're feeling rejuvenated and energetic, we continued with our walk and finally came across the striking beauty, the Golden, the golden Temple. Temple. Wow, yes. That's the Golden Temple. Prior to entering, you have to leave your shoes outside as well as cover your head with the bandanas provided at the entrance of the Golden Temple. Now, as we're entering, let me address something which you might be wondering, which is what's so special about the Golden Temple? Well, believe it or not, there are a number of reasons. One of which is that the Golden Temple is the holiest shrine of Sikhs. For those of you who don't know, Sikhs are people associated with the religion Sikhism. On top of that, the Golden Temple was first built in 1577. And as a fact, the temple's dome, which you're seeing right now, is glided with 750 kgs of asli pure gold, 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 gold. So it's a very fascinating temple and definitely one of, if not the most, popular tourist attraction in Amritsar.
I'm quite sure you can clearly see how and why this temple is so famous for its architectural beauty. Unfortunately though, that was all I was able to record, simply because they have a regulation there where you're not allowed to record in many of the places. So obviously being a temple, I had to respect that. But I'm sure just from what I've shown you, you can already tell how beautiful, majestic and vibrant this temple truly is. I mean, we went there again at night and just see how this temple sparks, shines and glows at night. jaw-dropping. So serene and magical. Anyway, swiftly moving on, now onto something quite sensitive, especially for many Indians. After visiting the Golden Temple, we began exploring the Hall Bazaar even more and saw this entry gate to the Jallianwala Bagh. <laughs> The Jallianwala Bagh is a historic garden and memorial of national importance as this is where the Jallianwala Bagh massacre occurred in 1990. On April 13, 1990, British soldiers opened fire in front of innocent unarmed people which resulted in the death of roughly 1,000 innocent people. Since then, the people of India remember the lives who were lost, who were injured and as well as the massacre as a whole. They do this through having several memorials outside as well as inside this entry gate. For example, just outside this entry gate is the Flame of Liberty. As you can see, it is white and shaped like a flame and engraved are faces of martyrs and below are their names. The massacre is labeled as one of the most brutal and gory events in India's history. seen a few of the memorials but now what you're about to see is a section of a wall that still bears the bullet marks that were fired hundred years ago on that day on April 13 1919 a heavy way to end. It's absolutely horrifying to even imagine that those marks that are there in front of your eyes are the marks of the bullets that were fired and killed hundreds of innocent people and injured thousands. My god. But nonetheless, let's bring this episode to an end. I really hope you found this one insightful and eye-opening. I hope you enjoyed visiting and exploring the Golden Temple or even enjoyed getting jealous knowing that I consumed, ate, and absolutely demolished this absolutely delicious ice cream and you didn't get to. Either ways, do smash that like button, share this video, subscribe, as well as turn on those post notifications. Next week's episode will be the final one and this time I am serious, it really will be the last one. Till then, obviously stay tuned, stay majestic, I'll see you next week. final episode of this series where we'll be experiencing an ending with some more craziness. Food. Now that we're in Punjab, a state known for serving rich and distinct food, let me introduce you to a dhaba called Balle Balle Dhaba. Now comes the real masala. We went to the Atari border to see the Wagha Atari border ceremony. 
This is a ceremony which marks the geographical boundary separating India and Pakistan. And I'm sure you know the tension and competition that exists between the two countries. The insane part? During the ceremony, the Indian and Pakistani border guards conduct a choreographed routine live in front of each other. So enjoy this, watch this, but more importantly, feel this. Feel, feel.